Let's go over the course outline. We're going to be talking about a lot of details while we learn the C-sharp language and .NET programming. We first need to start with the .NET solution. The Microsoft .NET framework will give a great overview. We're going to be talking about the common language runtime, which manages and executes our code. We'll talk about namespaces and assemblies and types. Namespaces allow us to organize our classes into structures, namespaces that allow us to be very organized and reuse our code. We'll work with assemblies, which allows us to work with modular code, and we're going to actually be able to make nice modules as we create DLLs and executables. And then we'll work with many different types and understand types in .NET as we work and start to work in Visual Studio .NET 2003. As we jump into C Sharp, we're going to learn and understand a basic C Sharp program. We'll use the command line compiler, which is very helpful to actually compile our programs without actually having to worry about Visual Studio .NET. It makes things a lot easier sometimes and it's very handy. We'll construct an application, talk about the basic class, and do some basic language fundamentals as we work towards a Visual Studio .NET example. Then we'll jump into types, basic types on up. We're going to be talking quite a lot about types and how to work with them, initializing variables and things like that. And we'll talk about the system.type and system.object hierarchy and how it relates in the .NET namespaces and assemblies. We'll talk about value and reference types, which is very important for memory, garbage collection, which is important for managing our types, and type safety, which is always important as well as other great .NET type features. We'll move our way into objects. C Sharp is an object oriented language, so we're going to learn how to define, create, and use classes, structures, and enums. Now we're going to be working with members and properties and fields on these classes and structures, and we'll learn how to destroy our objects, pass parameters, and overload. We'll jump into the core programming examples. Learning the object-oriented techniques is a good foundation. We're going to jump into the language itself and give good examples. We'll test for relational inequality. We'll work with if, else, switch statements, and all those great things, as well as exceptions and how to handle these errors within our programs using try catch. We'll work with strings and arrays, and some great features like array lists, collections, stacks, queues, and hash tables. If you're used to working with the standard template library in C++, for example, or you have to write things yourself, you'll be pleased to know that you have this available to you, and you can browse the assemblies, and I'll show you some great examples. Then we'll jump into the more advanced object-oriented techniques, base and abstract classes, the big three, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance, and then we'll talk about the object, the root of all classes, as well as more advanced topics, and overriding and overloading. Then we'll talk about events and delegates. Events and delegates let us hook into our code. We can handle mouse events, keyboard events, and delegates are like function pointers in C Sharp, and we're going to see a complete example on how to work with these. Now we get into the programming. File, system, I.O., and streams. Very easy to read and write files in .NET. We're going to be working with the different classes within .NET, and then we're going to actually write objects to streams, which is great, and you're going to like that. After we get over the major hurdles of the language, we're going to dive more into namespaces and assemblies and how to use them. We'll talk about class libraries, private versus shared assemblies, and we'll talk about the GAC, Global Assembly Cache, and how this relates to what we need to do to work effectively in C Sharp. Then we will talk about Windows applications, more programming, system.windows.forms, how to program forms, how to work with common controls like buttons and other things, toolbars, menus, dialog boxes, and we'll also work with COM controls, ActiveX controls, like Flash, and do a great example with that. Then we're going to do data access. Data access is great in .NET and C Sharp. We're going to explore ADO.NET and XML. ADO.NET is a great architecture, and it gives us a lot of XML freedom, and you're really going to like this. We'll do some great examples. We'll also read and write XML files. Then we'll talk about web applications and services, ASP.NET, the web forms, we'll build web services, and we'll talk about XML and web services as well. These are great features within the .NET framework, and C Sharp is definitely the way to actually program and implement these technologies. Then we'll talk about graphics programming. 
Graphics Programming in .NET is great and fantastic, and you're going to really like this section as we work and talk about the graphics class and how to work with system.drawing and give great examples.